Hey, what's going on, Josh? I was just curious, you know, obviously you're going to be a free agent again after this season. I was just kind of curious what the six, seven game stretch here in Detroit meant for you and how you're going to use that to evaluate, you know, your next steps here over the off season. Uh, I think it was, I think it was awesome, man. I think it was a, um, a great chance for me to kind of portray the, uh, the skill set that I have and, uh, and, uh, you know, you know, only, only God knows where I'm going to, where I'm going to be, uh, <laughs> Uh, this off season and uh, and what it's what it's going to look like next year. Now you left Tennessee, kind of looking for a chance to produce, and I mean it's pretty safe to say you've done that. Four starts, you got fifty yards, and I think four of the last five games. I mean, how how important is that to you into that decision making process? And I guess what is your interest level? I know you don't have any control over, it, but what is the interest level in sticking around here after that stretch? Um, I'd love to. I'd love to stick around, man. Uh, you know. You know, um, going you know with Tennessee and stuff. Uh, you know, it was just unfortunate kind of circumstances that happened uh, with me, uh, or at the beginning of the season with with the, some injuries and stuff that kind of held me back. And uh, and you know, guys guys doing their thing and uh, you know being able to um, go out and and, and produce. So uh, you know, it, it it was a tough situation, but you know. Uh, you know, just talking with family and, and my agent and stuff. And uh, thank God, I mean, uh, you know, I'm in the right spot. So, you know, I'd love to be back uh, with this team, man. A lot of guys, a lot of coaches, a lot of, a lot of front office. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely where I'd like to be. Thank you. Dave. Hey, Josh, another um, free agent question for you. And I, I don't know if this applies directly to, like, the situation that you just went through with, with Tennessee and your first bite of the apple, but – what advice can you give guys about chasing, you know, the, 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 the highest payday versus finding the right situation when it comes to coaching staff, offense, you know, the, those factors that go into you having success as a player, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, that's a good question, man. Uh, I'd say, uh, the month, you know, the, the money will come, you know, uh, you know, it, it's all about getting, getting to the best, possible fit that you know that you can as a player and uh you know because I mean you don't you don't get paid if you know you don't if you're not able to play and and uh and contribute to wins or you know just any of that so uh you know I I'd, I'd tell young younger guys you know not to not to even worry about the money man uh worry about worry about getting getting opportunities and and uh capitalizing on those opportunities and uh, in your situation, you feel like coming here to Detroit these last, you know, eight weeks or whatever it's been that that's been there, that the opportunities, the, the support system, I guess, to help make you, uh, you know, uh, uh, an efficient player. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I mean, I've, I've been I've been blessed to be able to to be able to stop off uh, out here in Detroit and, and, you know, even more blessed that they that they were trusting enough to give me uh give me those opportunities to kind of showcase my my abilities and uh and help, you know, help the team get some wins. And then just last thing, obviously you were out last week. How you feeling? How's, uh, what was that like sitting out and watching that game and, and good to, I guess, be back and finishing it up on the field? I tell you, I, it, it was hurting me, man. You know, just, I mean, it, it, it was like a double-edged sword, man. You know, uh, you know, it was hurting me not being out there, but, you know, I love to watch my guys uh, go out and, and and make plays, man, with, with Cadero and, uh, and all them boys, man, that, you know, that I don't get the, as many opportunities. You know, it was awesome to be able to see them step up and, and, and do the things that they that they do. Heck of a catch by him. Are you okay now? I mean, no no residual, no side effects or anything like that still lingering? Nah, I, I, I can smell, I can taste, you know, I, I got it all, man. Perfect. Appreciate it. Good luck this, uh, this offseason. Thank you, Dave. All right, last one, John. Hey, Josh, I had a similar line of questioning like Dave. I was just wondering, ramping back up from having COVID, did it take a minute to get your win back? What's it like kind of being a professional athlete coming back from a condition like that, like COVID? Did it take a minute or what was it like for you? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Um, body wise, I, you know, it, it was good to kind of get a get a week of, of rest and, and recovery. But, uh, you know, I, I, I tell you, it, it was tough that first day kind of getting my win back and, uh, you know, just feeling like there was a, a 50 pound weight on my chest, you know, trying to <laughs> trying to breathe the whole time. But, uh you know, luckily, uh, it didn't take too long for me to kind of get my wind back and stuff. So uh, I'm feeling good now.